Well, we talk a lot about the environment um, and we know that there's real damage being done. We're also people of faith and we have to see that we're not just observing the damage done to the environment, but we're actually doing something to repair the damage and to see that care for the environment is fundamentally part of our faith. God has entrusted us as stewards with the care of creation and we've got to make sure that the way that we live our lives in some way contributes not only to uh, enhancing the environment but also healing the damage that we've done. So we've got quite a, a mountain to climb because there's so much clear evidence of climate change events which are inflicting real damage on our world and those climate change events are happening because of the way that we treat the world particularly through the emissions of fossil fuels. We are now in the season of creation and it's something established by Pope Francis for the global church and in association with all people of goodwill that we do take time to consider what we are doing with the environment and how we are damaging the world in which we live by our exploitation of resources. So we have the theme this year of to hope and act with creation, which is so important in understanding that we have a direct role, a practical role to play in mending the damage that we've done. And this is a time which each year will be for us to consider carefully how we as individuals may amend our daily routines and do something which will be more enhancing for our world rather than damaging to it. There have been numerous examples of how we are beginning to work very hard in mending the damage that we've done to the environment. And whether we go to schools or to parishes, we can see that people are learning ways in which they can make a direct change to their lives in eating less meat, in saving water, electricity, in avoiding unnecessary waste, not throwing food away, but making sure that we consume what we actually buy as food. So many different things. And then in a wider context, we have our Guardians of Creation project, which is about the buildings that we have, our churches, our presbyteries, our other parish buildings, and how we may use them so that there are much less emissions of fossil fuels and that we're saving on heating and electricity in the properties that we have. But there are so many different initiatives and we've got to go on looking for best practice in all that we do so that this season of creation can actually show real dividends and benefits for the world in which we live. We're better guardians of creation than we have been. We are learning, but there is a mountain to climb. There is so much to be done. And so far, although we've got targets, we're not actually doing anything to reduce the damage that we're doing, let alone repair the damage that we've done. So we've got this notion of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees, but actually, realistically, the government policies are not bringing us to the realization of those targets and we've got to do more and we've got to do it quickly because there will come that moment where that damage will be irreparable. So we are making changes, we're learning a lot, but we can't be complacent. There's much more to be done and there is a real sense of urgency that we get our practice right in the way that we handle the environment and care for it and that we mend the damage that we've done. I've been invited by Chris Trott, the British ambassador to the Holy See, to be with him, with other experts on the environment, uh, to consider the impact that we're having, the spread of good practice, how we can collaborate with one another. And there will be a number of other ambassadors from different nations gathered together in Rome and we'll be meeting with Cardinal Turkson and with Sister Alessandra Smirilli, and we will be exchanging information and hopefully promoting uh, some good practice for uh, the ways in which we can tackle the environment and the damage we've done to it, and also set realistic targets for repairing the damage and changing the way that we live. It's an important forum, and I must say I'm so pleased that Chris Trott 
is wanting to um, bring us together for these discussions, which hopefully will lead to a good sharing of information. Caring for our common home has now become a priority. We can see all around us the effects of climate change events. So far, we have avoided the worst of those effects in our own country, but even here in the United Kingdom, we've seen floods and droughts, and we've even seen wildfires. There are real implications, even for us, but around the world, there have been the most appalling climate change events, really damaging, costing many lives and the livelihoods of so many people. This is a very important priority and we must be sure to be tackling it and we must make sure that this becomes a priority in all that we're doing politically and through our industries and in our own individual and private lives. We can make a difference and as Pope Francis says, each and every one of us has our part to play.